G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Well today I've got a RC boat in for review. This is from gearbest.com and uh, I opted to try this boat because it's the only boat on the market that I could see in this size category and price category with a Wi-Fi FPV camera guys. So uh, that really intrigued my interest and I thought I'll um, try this out on the channel. I haven't had a boat on the channel for about a year now so yeah, a bit of a difference from the old quadcopters and cars. Oh, I like my boats. I like pretty much anything RC, so I really wanted to try this one out. As, as you can see, it's a JJRC brand. Is the, is the name of the boat is the Spectre. It's a high-speed RC racing boat with the HD camera. On the side here, we've got a little bit of information here. VR goggles compatible because you can use your phone. This runs off the Wi-Fi FPV system. They're not included, so you supply your own. Uh, on this side of the box, it shows you the transmitter with the mobile phone holder. And a little bit of information on the side here. The uh, Wi-Fi FPV camera system is powered by this uh, 500 milliwatt, uh, sorry, 500 milliamp hour one cell battery and 720p camera. So let's have a look inside and we'll see exactly what we get. And then later on down the track, I'll uh, take this for a, a spin on the water. Okay, guys, I just took the boat out of the uh, styrofoam packaging there. So we got the boat, obviously, the controller, goodie bag, instruction manual, and this AR shooter, which is just like a... comes with all JJRC products. It's like a app where you can play a game. So um, first off, pretty basic... Uh, RC controller, looks like a, a RC car controller. Got a nice foam gripped uh, wheel here for the turning. You got your throttle, pistol grip uh, throttle. On this side we have the uh, throttle trim, high and low, and the left and right steering trim. And just basically the foam clip for the Wi-Fi FPV. On the bottom you put four AA uh, batteries to, to uh, power the controller. In this one we have the goodie bag, which uh, what I'll do, I'll just take all the contents out so we can have a look at exactly what we've got, okay? I'll just do that now. Okay guys, so I took all the little accessories out of the goodie bag here. So on the left we have this little nose cone that you put on the front of the boat to protect it from any hits. We have two uh, USB chargers here. This one here is for the camera because it does have like a little white micro lossy... Uh, uh, connector there that's so that would be for the FPV camera which is 500 milliamp hours one cell this one here is for the boat battery because as you can see it's got the two cell uh, balance plug there to charge up your two cell battery for the boat we've got an extra prop a little um, prop nut okay and the little uh, prop nut tool so that's quite good, you get all those little accessories, especially the spares there, just in case you need to fix the uh, the uh, prop up. Also, in the package, I've just made it, in that little goodie bag, we have the display stand. So I just quickly put that together, and uh, that's to display your boat, you just whack that on top when you're not using it, so it just helps not damage the rudder on the back. All right. Okay guys, so I'm having a quick look at the user manual here about the app that you have to download to uh, connect to the Wi-Fi FPV. You've got the two QR codes there guys, whether you're running Android or iOS, so just scan that down, uh, into your phone and it should take you to where you can download the app. Just a bit of a rundown there of what to expect to set it up. There it is there, the outlay of the app. Um, that's what I should see when I have it on my phone. And just a quick outlay of how to connect it to your device and what to expect uh, on the on-screen display. All right, now to the good bit, guys. Here's the JJRC Spectre Speedboat. Looks pretty cool with this uh, green uh, paint job on it. It's uh, got a metallic... Uh, Metallic flake in there with the JJRC logo on the front. It's funny. This is pretty much like a green color I don't see that it's uh, baby blue at all, which is what they've marked on the box. It's a color uh, It's more a green 
It looks cool. Just his standard uh, speedboat of this size, you know. This looks much rather like my old uh, Phelan with the design uh, of it. Uh, pretty much the same, except we have the the Wi-Fi PV uh, canopy on top. As you can see, there's the antenna there sticking out. And we've got this little label here. It says, please make sure the, to install the cabin cap correctly to prevent water from getting in the cabin. So there's a little uh, little note there. Um, got the rudder on the back, obviously. Little prop with the, looks like a brass prop shaft. And we also got the sensors on this one. So this one you can't power outside of the water like like in my hand i can't put a battery in it and power it up so what happens you got this sensor here which just touches the water just there and what that does is uh creates a circuit and that enables this boat to run there's also one on the top here and that does the same job so when it's flipped over this has anti-capsizing feature so if you you flip it over like this in the water you just flick the throttle forward and back really quickly as well as turn the steering if you want to do that as well that tends to help when you've got the rudder uh waving from left to right and then it'll flip over just like that so that's what that sensor is for it acts exactly the same as this sensor on the bottom so it creates a circuit so there is power to the motor from the battery all right so let's have a look at this guys there's a spout to let the water out so this shows you that this is a water cooled boat which we'll have a quick look at in one second and the inlet is on the back as well all right so let me open it up and we'll have a look inside all right guys here's the canopy you've got the little lever on the back here and this is a real tight fit guys because you've got a lever on the left uh the tab on the left two tabs here which correspond with those two in the middle there Okay, and this is a really tight fit. So when it's actually in in on the actual boat, you got to use a bit of force on the back here, and you'll hear a clicking noise, and it'll pop out. All right. So this is the um, top cover that houses the 720p camera, as you can see. Okay, on the bottom here of the canopy, the top canopy, you've got the section that houses the. Uh, 500 milliamp hour one cell 3.7 volt battery you got your connector for the uh, white Losi charger here that you connect up to charge this and then once you're done you just connect it to the Wi-Fi system that is housed on the front of this uh, top canopy and you're good to go you're ready for FPV okay onto the boat itself now as you can see, we have a 600 milliamp hour lithium ion pack, uh, 7.4 volt, 25C. This should give you a good running time for around seven to eight minutes, I'm guessing. That's what my other boats run with around the same uh, 600 milliamp hour battery. So around seven to eight minutes. You can see you've got your steering servo on the back for the rudder, just like that. We have the... Uh, water cooling pipes coming from the bottom of the boat outside there to run around which run around the actual motor here hopefully you can see that i'll just try to move these wires out the way but as you can see they they wrap around the uh motor there to keep it nice and cool and then you've got that one that exits the water jet out the side there so pretty plain pretty simple boat powered by a little brushed motor uh you got your ESC at the front of the boat and that's basically it guys we've got the little uh, connector to connect the 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 little uh, battery it's one of those like uh, nickel cadmium style black plugs and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so um, I'll charge this up guys take it to the pond and we'll see how it runs all right so uh Stay tuned for that video, guys. This is just going to be a quick unboxing today, and I'll make a, another video when I test it out on the Wi-Fi FPV on the water. All right, guys? Probably won't be able to get to that today. I'll see what happens. I'll have to charge that battery. We'll charge both batteries up. So if I can't make it out there today, uh, later on today, I'll, I'll try to get out there in the next couple of days. But this is a quick uh, little introduction to this boat. I'm looking forward to trying it out because it has the Wi-Fi 
FPV. I'm interested to see uh, how that works on this particular boat, especially on the water, the range and so forth. And uh, I might even try and experiment with the Xiaomi my, uh, Wi-Fi repeater as well to see if I can get some better range with the video quality. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the next video. Until then, happy RCing. Please like, comment, and subscribe, all the good stuff if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Until then, bye for now.